Assalamu alaikum dear students. I am Dr. Shajabeen and today's lecture is concerned with second type of acquired immunity that is cell mediated immunity. These are the objectives of this lecture. At the end of the lecture you would be able to discuss the specific attributes of T lymphocyte, their development and processing and you would be able to discuss the mechanism for activating a clone of lymphocyte and its role along with the memory cells role. This slide is the revision from the previous lectures that shows that the the second type of the acquired immunity is cell mediated and it involves only the which type of lymphocytes? Yes, T lymphocytes. Now remember one thing, the speciality of the T cells. The T cells have a special attribute that they defend against the invaders that are hide in the cells, inside the cells, unlike the B cells or the humoral immunity we did yesterday in which antibodies were secreted and they circulate in the blood and attack long distances too. But, uh, but these T cells, T cells come directly in contact with the cell and they kill it. Any of the infected cell is killed by them. This is an important slide that shows about the major physiological functions of cellular mediated immunity. First, you know very well that they are against the fungi, viruses and especially against the intracellular bacterial pathogens uh, like uh, for example mycobacterium tuberculosis or mycobacterium leprae and it also causes host versus graft rejection means uh, whenever there is allograft or you can say uh, whenever there is non-identical donor uh, gives tissue or any organ transplantation for transplantation the reaction is due to these T cells. They also participate in delayed hypersensitivity reactions. Uh, the hypersensitivity reactions after the 12 to 40, 24 hours are due to these T cells. Besides, if the T cell defects are there in any person, they can present with a variety of autoimmune diseases. For example, if they attack uh, pancreatic cells or you can say specifically beta cells of pancreas, it can lead to type 1 diabetes in infancy. And, and the last one are you, they are very very much important for the tumor immunity uh, that is the immuno immunological surveillance mechanism. Let's come to the development and processing of T lymphocyte. T lymphocytes are derived originally in the embryo from the pluripotent stem cells. These special pluripotent stem cells uh, uh, are converted into uh, lymphocyte cells, stem cells, or they are also known as lymphoid progenitor cells. These progenitor cells will form the B cell, both the B cells, B lymphocytes and the T lymphocytes in the bone marrow. The T lymphocytes, those cells that are destined to form the T lymphocyte, come out of the bone marrow and, and these cells, their T cells migrate to the gland that is known as the thymus gland where they are pre-processed or you can say they are get educated. That is why they are called T lymphocyte. T is uh, there for the thymus. That is the thymus designation in these cells. Now, uh, during the maturation or you can say education or pre-processing in the thymus, what happened? that one thymic lymphocyte develops specific reactivity against only one antigen. How? What happened when they start dividing rapidly in the thymus at the same time develop extreme diversity for reacting against different specific antigen 
one develops with one type of antigen while the next T lymphocyte develops specificity against another antigen forming thousands of specific T lymphocyte like this. Now each T lymphocyte possesses a single type of antigen receptor known as T cell receptor or TCR. Afterwards, T lymphocyte bearing antigen receptor for self molecule are deleted by second step of pre processing. And what is that second step? Now, the second most important uh, pre processing or ed education that uh, the T cells get from the thymus is, uh, is the phenomena by which that is very very necessary for our survival uh, it is given by the thymus is that the thymus selects the lymphocytes or it selects a lymphocyte that would be released it into the blood and make it certain that those T lymphocyte won't attack to the person's own body cells how what uh, it does uh, the thymus cells mix all the T lymphocytes with all uh, virtually all the self antigen or body's, body's own tissues. If a T lymphocytes react, it will be destroyed and phagocytized at one. Now only those T cells are released into the blood that are non-reactive to the body's own tissue. Hence, um, they will react only to the uh, foreigner pathogens like bacteria, toxins, or even the foreigner uh, transplanted tissue from any or of the other donor person, non-identical donor persons. At the end of these matured, educated, pre-processed T lymphocyte are designated as two antigenic subtypes depending op upon their surface antigen or self antigen. These are CD4 positive and CD8 positive cells. CD4 positive mainly are mostly are helper T cells and CD8 positive cells are known as cytotoxic T cells. Now come to this picture again to end the story of the pre-processing. Do remember that uh, all the processing we have learned that occurred in the thymus that these processing of T lymphocyte in the thymus occur before birth or few months after the birth. Now these T cells uh, pass into the circulation distributed throughout the body through blood and lymph and lodges in the lymph node until they get in contact with specific antigen. And whenever that specific antigen come in contact in the lymphoid tissue, these T cell become activated and they reproduce wildly forming tremendous amount of duplicate lymphocytes. All the different lymphocytes that are capable of forming one specific T cells are called clones of that lymphocyte. And how these clones are activated? This mechanism is a bit complicated one. They are activated whenever antigen is presented to them like a gift uh, by another cells known as antigen presenting cells or we used to say APCs. Uh, the three major types of APCs uh, are there uh, macrophages, B cells and dendritic cells out of which dendritic cells are located throughout the body and are the most potent ABCs. What APCs? What they do uh, the antigen is phagocytosed by them and they degrade it into smaller polypeptide fragments and, and then present to the clones of the lymphocytes on their surfaces. But the T cell receptor only recognize these antigen that are presented by these APCs when these are combined with a special protein known as MHC or major histocompatibility proteins. It's like if antigen is a gift that is presented by APCs to the T lymphocyte and the T lymphocyte recognizes or accepts it 
when it is wrapped in a special gift paper of MHC. Uh, this is the pictorial representation of previous slide and I have taken this uh, from our textbook Guyton and it shows activation of the T cell requires interaction of T cell receptor this is the green color the T, T cell receptor with the antigen this is the antigen foreign protein transported to the surface of the APC this is APC transported to the surface of the APC along with the combination of MHC protein this blue color like this now you get it in the picture you can also see there is a cell to cell adhesion protein uh, that keeps this T cell and APC bound with each other now the question arises what is MHC protein MHC proteins are self antigens or glycoproteins known as uh, MHC just because their synthesis is directed by a group of genes that is present on the chromosome 6 uh, and that is known as major histocompatibility complex and it was first discovered in relation to the tissue typing that is why uh, it was named so histo means tissue the most uh, tricky thing about the MHC genes is that they are the most variable ones in the humans more than 100 different MHC molecules have been identified in human tissue and uh, due to their tremendous number of combination possible the exact pattern of MHC molecules varies from one individual to other except in the identical twins who have the same MHC self antigens and they are sometimes known as the biochemical fingerprints or molecular identification cards major histocompatibility proteins have two classes MHC class 1 found on all the cells while MHC class 2 found on antigen presenting cells or APCs as we have discussed that two types of lymphocytes matured lymphocytes and pre-processed lymphocyte are there these are CD8 positive and CD8 positive are also known as cytotoxic cells and CD4 positive that are also known as helper T cells the CD8 positive cells recognizes the combination of foreign antigen that were presented by the APCs along with the class 1 MHC protein while CD4 positive cells recognizes the combination of foreign protein presented to them by the APCs with the combination of class 2 MHC protein let me tell you one mnemonics that uh, always the product is 8 8 1's are 8 and 4 2's are 8 just to remember the things this slide shows the whole pictorial representation of whole mechanism of T lymphocyte clone activation you can see from this picture that uh, uh, the antigens are processed and then presented to the T cell by the macrophage that is the APC in combination with the MHC proteins and in the case of CD4 positive cell the MHC is class 2 while in the case of CD positive CD8 positive the MHC molecule should be class 1 at the end this slide shows that after activation they are further differentiated into more types of T lymphocytes CD8 positive after uh, activation they are known as I have told you cytotoxic cells but they are also differentiated into suppressor T cells and CD4 positive cell uh, uh, which are helper T cells mostly they are helper T cells but uh, some of these are also differentiate into delayed type hypersensitivity cells and we will do all these types in the next lecture 
and we will uh, learn their physiological functions as well these differentiated cells now release into the lymph and then uh, they are distributed throughout the body through the circulation blood and as you know in just like in the humoral immunity uh, some of the cells remain dormant uh, forming memory cells and they will spread throughout the lymphoid tissue of the entire entire body but they remain dormant and on the subsequent exposure to the same antigen uh, these cell will release out and do the second response or secondary response and and you know it very well we have done in the humoral immunity the secondary response is more powerful intense potent and uh, enhanced thank you students this is my email address for any query and the book's name for reference